Back now, Kilauea's eruption is in its sixth day with all activity confined to the summit caldera. It's been drawing thousands of visitors to catch a glimpse of the crater's lava fountains. And KITV4's Big Island Bureau Chief Jeremy Lee is at the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park with a closer look at that eruption. You know it's a good one when you can see the glow from the highway. And when you get to the parking lot of Kilauea Overlook, it is full with a steady rotating group of visitors. But you better get here early. That glow soon starts to fade. But if you're part of that crew arriving well before 6 a.m. when the light quickly shifts, you'll see a network of lava rivers in a spiderweb-like formation stretching over the expanse of what began as a 450-acre lava lake. That's up from the 371-acre lava lake that took form with last June's eruption. When you look behind me, it is as impressive as ever, and many people this is not their first rodeo. They've been here. To I arrive with the early morning crew and had a chance to get behind the camera here. Three cinder cones with lava fountains are the centerpiece for those viewing the eruption. Going through the ohia trees, zoom in here so that you could really get in there and see why it's so quiet here because everybody is just standing and watching in silence except for me, of course. Toxic plumes of CO2 and sulfur dioxide have been flowing away from the Kilauea Overlook viewing area and Ue Kahuna, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, monitoring should there be a significant shift in winds. From Kilauea, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.